What's up, Mercs? It's Joe here with some more Dead State. Last time we arrived at Lano Residential, and today we're gonna go ahead and check out this toddler's room, which looks fucking horrible, and I'm a little bit nervous to go in there. I doubt there's gonna be a zombie toddler, but I don't want to know what's in there. Let's see, is there a medicine cabinet? Yep. We got, we got a lot of medicine, some soap, we got sanitary pads. What is that? Sleeping pills. Okay, yeah. We've had those before. Those are good. They help moods. That's really nice to have. What about this nightstand? Anything interesting? Romance, fiction, blanket, eh, it's not bad, some luxury items, those are always good to have, raises morale, I do like raising my team's morale, okay, here we go, hello, I guess this is the mother, I don't see, oh no, there's a picture of them too, that's like a whole family there, she had more than just a toddler, oh, that's horrible, Renee, I really needed you to kill, like seriously, Renee, ah, shit, now we're gonna get hit. No, 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 no. Well, at least she's going for uh, Wentz with my most armored character. Yep, literally did no damage, which is good. Wentz with. There you go. Take her down. What we got? Anything good? An arrow. She's been shot. What about on this shelf? We have Galaxy Wars, a textbook, romance novel. Yep, more luxury stuff. That's always nice to have. What is this? CDs. I'm sorry, wait, what'd that just say? A collection of CDs, none of them contain any songs about twerking or cranking anything. Oh my god. Music helps people think about the better times. Luxury item. Oh my god. <laughs> I like how they fucking specify. There's no twerking or fucking cranking shit in this. This is, this is some classic rock. This actually is good music. Oh my god, I love that. That's amazing. I really love the devs, like, their, their thought processes with this game. They're really funny, the way they do it. They get really dark, but they get really funny. It's great. Uh, so, yeah, I think so. Yeah, you're gonna go. Well, that's good. I get the armored person up first. That's okay. And she has more HP, too. So that was a good idea on my part. Really went swift. Okay. Oh, my God, Anita. Or, no, Renee, sorry. Come on, Anita. There you go. Anything good on the body? No. Alright, you go ahead and heal your mother up. There we go. And when Swift, check this laptop. We got some more data information, data whatever. And we got fiction novel, clothes, and pillow. That's always nice to have. Alright, so let me go ahead and quick save. And let's continue. So, first house had two zombies, had a gruesome looking room, which I have no idea where the kid is. That just doesn't sit well um let's see what does this say this says trespassers will be shot with a bullet hole i'm guessing there's a guy with a gun in there and from the zombies that are surrounding the area i would say it's not the first time he's had to shoot or he it's not just a warning he's actually oh my god <gasps> a hunting rifle and 762 holy shit too bad that's you know we don't really need we, that's one fucking round like really so, whoop de doo I forgot I could lockpick this. What? I forgot about lockpicking doors. I need to do that. How the fuck is it too low? It's a 10 door. Bullshit. Sorry, it's it's too low. Oh my god. Just, you know what, Wensmith? Just fucking deal with it. Fuck your door. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, well, wrong house. Oh wow, he's bleeding. Okay, so, we got, we got looters. We've got looters. We cannot fire the gun, because there's people over there. Unfortunately, my shotgun's unloaded. Wow, nice fucking hits there, bit. I apologize. I'm sorry, Renee. You're worthless. So we have one gun. I'm not too worried about only one gun. Oh, son of a bitch, I was hoping if I could knock him down or something. Maybe if he shoots with his friends in the way, he'll actually hit one of his friends. That'd be nice. Renee is bleeding. Not that bad, though, so we're okay. Oh, come on! Come on! Kill him! There you go, Wenswith. You knocked him down. Rude. Ah, oh, 24 damage. We had to switch spots. And then hit him. Yeah! So heal yourself. Don't want to heal yourself anymore. Can you kill this person? There you go. That's what I wanted. 
What did it say? Mail looter is just another mess to step over. Oh, that's... <laughs> that sucks for him, not for us. Okay, um... Wait, really? You can't hit this person? The door is in the way? Really? Interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. No, I can hit diagonal. I didn't know a door would be in the way. Oh, he's just panicked. Or is it a she? It's a she. She is panicked. She is down. She is dead. It's a poem. Don't shoot! Oh my god, I just realized he was shooting. That is no good. Okay, let me get behind. Oh fuck, I can't even get behind him. Wenswid, it's up to you. No one else can help. Well, okay, never mind. That's, that's a lie. There we go. He's dizzy. He's running. Okay, we only... Oh, wow. 30 damage. That's a lot of damage. Um, let's heal up Wenswith. Heal yourself. And then you can't heal your mother because she's too far away. Okay, now he ran in, so he can actually make a move. You're not going to be able to hit. You can hit, though. Oh, come on. He's almost dead. We're so close. I'm surprised he's not panicking yet. Okay. You come in. Heal your mom. And then... Let's finish this. One Smith. There you go. No, 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 no. Oh, wait. I'm selecting as uh, Renee. I didn't even realize. Here you go, Renee. Have a free kill. Because I know how much you love killing. Okay, we got a machete. And some gun. Got some ammo for it. It's just some... It's just the same crappy revolver we have. You know, like five of, so it doesn't really matter. Another machete, though. That's not bad. Machetes are actually really good. Or at least they're really good, you know, when I use them with Renee. I'm sure I could find something better, but, you know, it's okay. Mm, it's in this bookshelf. Nothing? Oh, wow, lots of stuff. A portable game system? The XODS portable game system can be recharged provided there's electricity. It plays any XODS compatible. Might be worth picking up with a few games in it. Picking up a few games for it. Wait, do we actually get games for it? That's funny. If we do. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I didn't even loot it. Wait, why am I you? No, stop. Stop. You? You're. No, oh my god. She's going like the other hallway to loot it. Got a beer. I hope we got Pokemon for that shit. Oh, sorry. No. It's what is it called here? Like pocket creatures. That's what it's called here. I really hope we got Pokemon for it though. Damn. No Wi-Fi. No competitive. That's gonna mean that was good. Hopefully, it has a strong story. Some vitamins. Some children's room. No one's in there. And last room of the house. I'm not. I'm kind of rushing through this house because they fired a gun. If there's gonna be people in here, they're, they would have fucking came already. Everyone in this entire house who was here to fight would have came by now. If they haven't come by now, then there's no one else in this house. So we have a quick save there, and I'm gonna go to the other house. Now, the zombies didn't hear the gunshots, which is surprising because, like, it's right across the fucking street. But, I have an idea. Now, if we can run away fast enough, I'll just hit this back door and then make the zombies run back here. Hit it, and then run, 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 run. Whoa. There we go. A lot of trash in that house. That leads me to believe that this person who says, you know, trespassers get shot or whatever is dead. So let me just go ahead and kind of lockpick this. And send this no, 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 no! Fuck! I wanted to lockpick it. Indestructible doors are usually really easy to lockpick. Huh? They're not coming. They didn't hear me. I just realized they probably... Wait, can't be picked. They probably did hear me. They're probably on the inside. No, they didn't. Fuck. That sucks. We can't pick the door. Um... I could shoot a gun. Yeah, I may as well. Can I just shoot wildly? I don't think I can. Well, it, it was good. I need to load that anyway, but still. Hmm. I can probably shoot the door, can I? 
There we go. That should have alerted him. Yep, there we go. Sweet. Reload. I'm actually going to switch my lockpicks back. Alright, let's go back as Anita. I'm going to quick save. Because those fucking strats, though. And then uh, let's go inside. I don't think there's someone in here anymore. I mean, there could be a guy with a gun. But if he's in here, he's a really messy guy. Actually, there might be someone in here. Well, whatever. If we find someone, we'll kill him. I've yet to see someone that hasn't been like, A looter! Oh my god. Hostile survivor. He's a shotgun. Should we rush him? No. No, no, no. No, no, no. 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 Let's not put anyone in danger. Let's just go. Let's just go. Now you see, if this was... If this was the old me... I don't know when I changed. Hello. I'm... John Krukov. Hi. I'm new. I don't know. Uh, I would have fucking taken him on. No shit. Like, I could, I can take him. I can fucking do it, man. He has a shotgun. We've dealt with that before. And all it's gonna do is injure my people. We're gonna fucking do it. We have to. Come on. We can take him. We outnumber him. And I have an idea anyway. I'm just gonna run up and stun him. Now, if we hit, if we get this hit, it'll be perfect. Run. Stun him, stun him, stun him, stun him. You missed! You fucker! There we go. He's dead. Okay, now that will give everyone the opportunity to just run up on him. Now, yeah, he's not gonna get back up for a while. He's done. He's on the ground. He's dead. Sorry. Uh, well, no, I'm not. Oh, wait, that actually lowered their morale? That was horrible. We should have left them alone. Why did I help? Shut up. You guys, you know what? Shut up. Now fucking loot their bodies. You listen to me. We Oh, there's antibiotics in here? Hey, we have to survive, okay? We have to survive. He was going to kill us. Yeah, but you could just let them all- Fuck you. We have to survive. We need stuff. I keep- I don't know why- I keep switching as one sword because I'm thinking, Oh, well, he should leave the fucking charge. He has a lot of health. He's the one with the least amount of health, though. I hope that didn't actually affect their, their mood. I'm gonna check if it did once we get home. In fact, I should be able to check right here. Ah, they look fine to me. Okay and okay. They're not pissy. So, I guess they're okay with it. Oh, what's that? Gloves and boots? Interesting. So these do for defense. These do to defense. I think I'll give them to you because you have the least amount of anything. And then I'll give these to your mother. I don't, she doesn't have boots, right? No. There. Yeah, that's, it's only one defense, but it's better than zero defense, right? Alright, let's get out of here. We didn't take any damage. Dude, that stun gun is so fucking P though. It's not OP, because, like, what? Is there, like, a. This doesn't say accuracy anywhere. All I know, though, is the accuracy of this of this uh, weapon. I was about to say gun. I guess it's a stun gun, but whatever. The accuracy. It's, a, it's not a stun gun. Don't stun guns, like. Aren't they projectiles? Like tasers, you know, that shoot out the little. Maybe not. I don't know. The stun gun, whatever. The thing we electrocute the guy with. I, it has a very bad accuracy. I always tend to miss. That's why I'm glad it has really low AP to use. It has four AP to use, two to switch to. But it usually misses the first shot. Or the first, like, punch. And then I had to do it again. And, well, that worked. And thankfully it did, because if we didn't... Wait, it's still early. Encounter, I rode through a rural, rural area. It's a possible ambush. And we had to go here, by the way. It, it forced me into this. Fuck. Oh, it's just zombies. We're okay. Um, I could run through this. I bet you I can. Wow, I almost aggroed that one. We're good, though. Yep, there's no loot here anyway. I mean, if we kill the zombies, maybe, but no. Alright, let's go. Um, I think we should go to the shelter. I was gonna explore a little bit more, but uh, I think... 
I should limit myself to maybe like one place per day unless it's like really far away. I'm gonna go to the human campsite today just to see. I'm gonna check it out. If it's hostile, we're gonna leave, but I'm gonna check it out. Maybe there's something good there. Like friends. We got 78.5 food, two fresh food, 0.5 gallons of gas, 42 luxury items, one part, one antibiotic, two special items, and one data item. Wensworth, I wanted to talk to you about the instant in your most recent scavenging. Fuck. I was told that you attacked someone who wasn't hostile by someone. I won't name names, but they felt more than a little upset at the fact that you were aggressive first, and who didn't and who didn't seem to want to fight. He tried to kill us. He said he's gonna shoot us. I know I'm not out in the field with you, and it can be difficult to tell how prepared someone is to be, to be violent in the tension of the moment. He said he was going to shoot us. I knew exactly how violent he was going to be, and I know that as a leader, you are con to be concerned with the welfare of the group above all else. I should have let him shot at us first. I bet they wouldn't have been like mad if we did. That said, you should know that kind of aggression is something that people are concerned about and the feeling like they're wrong, that does damage morale. Again, I can't speak to your own experiences, but I felt it was something I needed to bring up with you. Thanks for letting me know, I'll be more careful in the future. Damn it, I bet you they're gonna be pissed off now. Fuck. No, they're not, okay. Well, the morale's gonna drop tonight, definitely. Okay, so I gotta be careful with that. I didn't know it actually... If, I don't know why I thought. I don't know. Today, I received a call from a listener in Loma Alta. She had a follow, she had the following comment. Lane, I've barricaded myself in a building, and I feel safe for now. But the dead are all over the first floor. Their constant moans make it hard for me to sleep. Could you play something that would drone out the horrible sound so I can get a few hours rest? Well, Donna from Loma Alta... Thank you for your message. I sympathize with your lack of shut eye and I hope this helps. From their 1996 album, Kids Eat Steve, here's the Toast Magnets with Lil Honey Butter. I wonder if I can go save that person. That'd be really cool. I'd like to do that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and store all this poop I have on me because I have extra poop. And I don't need extra poop. Extra poop is just less space for good poop. Essential poop. Okay, I don't need this, 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 this. No, I need that. This, this. This, 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 this. And uh, this, this. Uh, I'm gonna keep that on me, actually. Yeah, okay. So next is Renee. Uh, boop and a boop. No, wait. Okay, next is... Anita. So I'm gonna keep that stun gun on me until it completely runs out, you know, because I it is going to run out soon. Yeah, I think I have two shots left with it, but I'm gonna keep it until it completely runs out. I'm sure everyone has at least a stun gun and a lockpick. I don't think we have any lockpicks left. And I don't know how to split because I'm an idiot, so I'll figure it out eventually. You know, eventually, as in like whenever I get around to looking at the manual, which is in the files on my computer, that literally takes me well, maybe like what, 20 seconds to go to? Maybe 30? 20 if I use Steam browse local files. Hmm. Is that place marked now, I wonder? Doesn't look like it. No. So if we find that place, maybe we can help her. Is it, like, on the map anywhere? I don't see it. Well, human campsite, here we come. Bit nervous. Could encounter something bad. Like I said, if it's bad, we're just going to leave right away. There's definitely humans here. That's all we know. Hmm. Well, here's some loot. Fisherman's bag. There's no fisherman around, so I guess I'll steal it. Let's see. I don't know what might be in that water. It's best not to trust my luck. Oh, it could be zombie fish. Oh. Oh, aggressive survivors. Nope. Alright. Well, I said as soon as I saw an enemy, you're leaving. I'm not going to deal with a whole fucking camp of survivors. Not right now. So I'm going to go a little bit further to see if I can get the next location for tomorrow. I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna head home. See, there's something along this road. Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna go to this intersection next time, though. Oh my god, it's late. Oh my god. I don't know what happens if it gets, like, dark out. I'm, yeah, I get nervous, though. Okay, I'm gonna go to that intersection tomorrow, probably, unless I have an objective tomorrow. That consists of not going to that intersection and doing something more important. Spend in general school. School. Uh, Joel should be ready to come back out. It sucks that I can't... Well, yeah, I can. I don't have to bring Wenswith. Go to bed in the day? Yes. Wenswith can stay home and do stuff, which is good. <gasps> look at that. Fucking shit. It, look at that. It's like hardly... Okay. Oh, yeah. 
We're awesome. So we have 292 remaining food because we gained 78 and only used 24. That's pretty good. Um, so with all this stuff, 67 morale. Even with the kill neutral, minus 20. So every neutral we kill is minus 20. I don't know if we can kill a good person. I like minus 40. But yeah, minus 20 for a neutral kill. Gotta keep that in mind. And no antibiotics used. Four gallons of gas. We have one more day of gas left. Oh, fuck. I... I thought about it, about killing myself. You know, I didn't say that. I could have. I didn't. I'm not a douchebag. But I don't think that'll set things right. I want to make up for what I've done. You survived. You tell me. What do I do to make up for all those lives lost? And is asking you for you to make a permanent choice that will impact your personality and skills. This choice will permanently affect what type of character she is. We'll find people. Okay, here we. We'll find people. They will be having the same thoughts as you. You need to, and you should console them. Okay. You owe me. You want. You need to work it off. Scavenging, finding, working, whatever I need for you. Understand? So, okay, we either have her be like a person, a support character, or someone to come out with us. I think I should have her. Mm. No, no, no. We'll do this one. Yeah, I can do that. I'll do whatever I can. I'm still not, not totally over it, but I've been to the darkest place I've ever been. And I can understand what's going through their mind. I'll try to be there for them. Like you were for me. This will improve morale. Thank you. Thank you for being there for me. You're welcome, Elaine. Or should I say, Counselor? Yeah. Anyway, I should see if anyone needs help getting food ready. I'll talk to you later. Elaine walks towards the cafeteria. Yay, she's doing stuff. Fuck. <sighs> Fuck this guy. I'm gonna stab him in the throat. Hey, I just took a look around and you gotta help me. This is not happening. I can't take this. Calm down, it's okay. We're all worried about the dead out there. Huh? No, idiot. The internet is gone. There's not a single Wi-Fi signal anywhere. Not even a dial-up modem connection. It's all gone. No news sites to check and comment on. No message words to read and comment on. No streaming video sites to watch and fucking comment on. There's nothing to click to, nothing to browse. There's nothing. I'm having withdrawals. I can't go cold turkey. Well, the world kind of ended, Doug. Fucking Doug, piece of shit. The internet was designed with the world, the end of the world in mind. There's got to be servers out, out there. Emails being sent, information being posted. Don't you see? There's no data. There is still data out. Wait, what? There is data still out there. Shh, wait. I've got something. Yes. We need cell phones, USB drives, tablets, hard drives, whatever. Just bring them to the library. We'll comb them for data and other things. Oh, duh. I used to have to retrieve passwords for idiots all the time. My program will decrypt most of the password, allowing us to easily guess it. Then we'll strip any useful we'll strip any useful uh, wait any useful info off the device and save it to the directory in the computer's hard drive. Just check the library later. It'll be so simple even a Mac user can use it. I'm like fucking god. <laughs> now get out of my way! I've got work to do on this thing. All it uh, it's still in my head. Doug runs off and fucking falls and trips and breaks his goddamn nose because he's a piece of shit. What a fucking asshole. Where's the library anyway? And so we're not used to know what to do those data things now. Where, where's the library? Oh, there it is. Hey, fuckface. Hey, fuckface boogie. Hello. What? Uh, you think that will prove your move? Oh, I get it. You're trying to win my favor. Well, then, in that case, I demand a shrubbery. Get it? No? Fine. Just give me some rechargeable batteries and some hot sauce. I like putting it on my face at night. I'll see what I can do. Fucking creep. Okay, let's get out of here. And I guess we're just gonna leave, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Uh we're gonna go to the intersection today, that's right. Uh, let's go. It's the intersection right here. Rahur. Hopefully you find something along the way. I'm just gonna have to follow the roads out. I'm sure I'll find stuff on the roads. Apple trees! Anything? Come on, something please? Nothing? Oh, here we go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Menard Graveyard. Fuck. It's gonna take so long to get back. We need a car. Please. Fuel. We need fuel. Oh, fuck. It's a graveyard. This is zombie apocalypse. This isn't good. Gas, please. We have a lot of health left, which is good. Uh, gas. There you go. Only point five though. What is this? Chewing tobacco? Disgusting. I hate chewing tobacco. It's so gross. I never had it personally, but just like, I mean, no offense if you do it, but just 
people, when, they, when you have to spit it, you know? Ugh, it's so gross. Ooh, 25 gallons. There we go. We have three gallons. We have almost enough for another day, which is good. That's really good, actually. Um, Front door is fucking locked, obviously. It's always locked. Why wouldn't it be? I'm going to break it down. Greetings, gentlemen! Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what? Uh, Nathan? There's no- what? There are no zombies in here. What the fuck? There's just somebody in here and he is- What? Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Nathan, we're coming in. We've got weapons. You better stand the fuck down. If you try and kill us, I swear to fuck, I will kill you. Break this door down. Oh, wait, no, 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 ah, wait. What's up, Nathan? Hello? Hey, don't be alarmed. I'm not going to do anything, okay? Okay, so this might sound crazy, but I'm just so happy to see other face around here. Likewise. Man, it's been weeks since I've run into other human beings. I think it's the graveyard that scares them off, or maybe the church. For a while, I felt like it last me on Earth. This is your church? Me? No. Up until recently, I hadn't been to a church since I was in grade school. But it's out of the way, secure, and they had food stockpiled in the duration boxes, so it was, good. it was as good as anywhere, I guess. The shape my car was in, I was fortunate to even find a place like this. This town was abandoned when I got here. Oh, wait, yeah, I so I gotta explain something after this. Oh, when I got here, I don't know where everyone went. Shelter, maybe. I didn't even think people lived out here. I just got lost, car had problems, so I managed to find this town. Tell you the truth, it's been kind of eerie. All these empty buildings and streets, I'm not even in... I'm not even from Texas, wound up wound up here by a string of bad luck. I really didn't want to die in a place like this. You too? Man, I know exactly how you feel. Crazy times, ah, uh, yeah, brah, yeah, brah. So what's your story? Have you been hiding out here, or is it my lucky day and you're part of a search party? Kind of. I'm from a shelter in Splendid. You interested in getting out of here? For real? You'll take me with you? Hope this isn't a dream again. I don't know where the hell Splendid is, but it already sounds like a nicer place than this. Let's get out of here, man. That's real good to say. Anything worth taking with us? Anything worth taking with us in town? I picked this place pretty clean. There wasn't much to begin with. Got a few supplies left here, but that's about it. Don't mind sharing. You know what? Got caught up in the moment there. You don't even know my name. Name's Nathan. Nathan Harris. And boy, it is. Is it good to meet you? I don't know. Why I gave him an accent, but he kind of developed it over the uh, the time the uh, the length of this conversation. It's good to meet you too, Nathan. Follow me. I'm Wentz with Fiumit. I didn't tell you my name. I apologize. Wentz with just got an accent too. So, uh, fuck. Yeah. Cool. We got another follower. Uh, I guess he just disappears until we're home because, well, he's not in our party and he's not here anymore. He just disappeared. I guess he's at this this the uh, shelter right now. He just just he kind of teleports home. So I think I think the devs are are trying to pull an edgy thing here. They're like, you you know what's cliche? Zombies in a graveyard. You know what's not cliche? No zombies in a graveyard with a survivor there saying, yeah, people thought there were gonna be zombies in a graveyard. Ha <laughs> cause they're zombies. <laughs> so what I was gonna say, um. Oh my god, please, please, just 0.5 gallons. Yes! We have enough gas to, wait, what? That was in 0.5 gallons. Fuck. Okay, well, we, we, no, yeah, it was. We had three gallons, that's right. We have almost enough gas for another day. Fuck, that's not enough, though. We need, like, 0.5 more. We might have to go without it tonight. All right, so what I was saying is, look at this. See, Lana Residential, Lana Commercial. The way the map is set out, like, Brady, there's probably more Brady things around here. Menard, there's probably more Menard things around here. Bison Street, there's probably more to that. Uh, Mason supermarket. There's probably more Mason buildings. Right? I gotta find the towns, you know, and then just stick with the towns. Okay. Uh, we have to hurry home though. It's late as fuck. Oh shit. Some more zombies. What? That didn't look like a fence door. Is there another one over here somewhere? Yeah. So I can skip most of these zombies if I just fight one. Of course, she looked at me when I was doing that. Come on. There you go. That's all I was hoping for. Shit. Just keep running. I wish combat would end. It's totally over. Come on. He's gonna break aggro just trying to get over to us. 
Is this the gate? I think it is. There we go. Let's get out of here. Alright, let's go back home. It's 2.26 p.m. It's really fucking late. I'm getting nervous. I don't know what happens at nighttime. I've never seen this before. Okay, well, I'm getting really nervous. Uh-oh. Something smells like roadkill. I've never seen this encounter before. Let's see what do we have. A guy that get hit by a car, maybe? Male corpse slightly wounded. Uh-oh. Oh, we have to search it. We have to. I mean, that might have fucking gas in it. We need gas. It's literally a must. So I'm just gonna sit here and let this, these guys come to me. Oh, when, Swift? What are you doing? Only eight points damage, so that's not terrible at all. It's not bad at all, actually. Yeah, there you go. Kick him right off. Yeah, fuck that zombie. Kick him in the face. No one likes Fuck, bitch. Now, take him down. There you go. Okay. Uh, I bet we can just loot this car without having to worry about any more zombies. Two gallons of gas. Yes, it's exactly what we needed. So that means morale won't go down. This should actually build enough morale so if it does go down, we'll be okay. So, I'm not going to end today yet, because I really want to get back to the shelter. It's f I'm just so nervous. I've never been out this late. Does it maybe increases the uh, chance of random encounters? That could be bad, maybe? I don't know. Don't ever go out at night. I love them, uh, I love them feud. Feud? Not much food at all. 5.5 gallons of gas, one luxury jam, two parts. We got a survivor, though. That's like the big thing, you know? That's like huge, we got a survivor. Let's go speak with him real quick here. No, don't fucking... No, talk to him. You need something? Anything on Prison Mood? Maybe. Stuff that remind me of home. Some real coffee beans would always make a huge difference, and I don't know, a cigar in the evening might always be nice. Always makes me feel like something went right. Let's see what I can find. So I don't know what he has. Let's see what he has. Um, Skill-wise. 110 HP, holy shit. Master Angler. When it comes to fishing, no one is better than Nathan. He can catch 50% more fish per fishing spot. And world's greatest salesman. Nathan's cheer cheerful and welcoming demeanor has given him an extra three points of morale for the shelter per day. Cool. That's really good, actually. Uh-oh. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah, that's the guy we found. He's sick. Okay. For 38 more hours. Uh, Davis did repair the... What does it call it? The fridge now. So you can repair that fence. Take him, what? How long is that going to take him? Fridge repair. Yeah. Let's take him an hour. That's fine. You don't need any help on that. Nathan. Can you do anything? Machinist. I don't think we, could, we don't have any like, stuff to... Or, uh, parts. So I think I'm going to take him in the party. Um, can I... Yeah, I could ditch Winsmith. Um, yeah, and then I need... I can... Wait, one, two, four. We can have four people in a party? Um, wait a minute. Yeah, okay, we have four people in a party now. Cool. One, wait, yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, they're all in a party. Cool, okay. Totally awesome. Totally worth it. All right, guys, so I think I'm going to end today's survival here. Next time we'll end the day, and we will see what we can find. Maybe we'll get another quest or something to explore because we need to get some more food. Yes, we're fine on food right now, but, well, we want to get more food ASAP. And we also want to start building stuff here, you know, gardens. Uh, fixing up the garage, getting a car, maybe a horse, that kind of stuff. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today, and I hope to see you all next time. Anyway, that'll be it for now, and I'll see you next time. Don't know why, kind of, whatever. Redundancy away! Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!